Hey guys. So today we're going to be turning ice cream flavors into girls. And the ice cream flavors I'm doing today are going to be mint chocolate chip and cookies and cream. Let's get started. So here I'm starting off with a sketch. I mean, you always start off with a sketch. Okay, I'm doing the sketch. <laughs> And for this, I want this drawing, I wanted to have both characters on the same page. I usually just do one character per video, but I decided to kind of spice things up and include two characters in this video. Um, so I'm doing like both my chocolate chip and cookies and cream, like I said earlier. And I wanted to, like I said, I'm drawing both of them on the same page. So I wanted to try to make the pose interesting. That hand's terrible. Anyways, yeah, so I wanted to make the pose interesting. So I want, I was looking, I was like thinking about different poses. I looked on Pinterest and Google and stuff for some interesting poses and I couldn't find any. So I just kind of gave up with an interest, like uh, doing an interesting pose and I decided to just do like my normal hand um, hip pose thing one trick and I made it look mirrored yeah so by mirrored I basically mean like they both have their hands like the opposite hands on their hips so, like one might have their left left hand on their hip and the other might have their right hand on their hip so it's like mirrored now I'm starting off with the dress for the outfit of both characters I decided to just make it really simple um, and leave everything up to the coloring since I feel like the color schemes of both these ice creams is what really makes like is really important like when you think about vanilla vanilla is just plain white but like so the taste of vanilla is what makes it I would say really important but I feel like with the bright colors of mint chocolate chip um, and then like the little like the white and then the brown little dots or something on cookies and cream I feel like that's what really makes like that's what that's what's important at least in my opinion like they both do taste really good but yeah so that's why I just made the designs really simple for mint chocolate chip I had like this um the chocolate dripping on her skirt and for cookies and cream well, you'll see this when I color it but I have a bunch of dots so yeah it's like really really simple and they're just both dresses because I thought dresses would look cool so yeah, that's it for the sketch.
the sketch. I just wanted to do like dots. So I'm just like, you know, doing like the cream colored dots, which is a warm gray one. I'm using raw umber for the chocolate dots. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm doing the chocolate dots here. Yeah. So for the top, should I do like the same waffle pattern or the dots? I don't know. I think I'm going to do the dots. So yeah, I start off with the dots and then I realize I don't like it. So I color it all in with warm gray at one and I, yeah, like I decide to do the waffle pattern. So here's me just coloring it all in. And you could still see like the dots on the bottom, but I don't think it's that noticeable when you see the final drawing. So yeah, so I just did the then here, the hair. I wanted to do maybe an outbreak, like since I didn't do I wanted to do first like the light warm gray color, but I thought that just looked really weird and made her look old. So I decided to do the brown. And I'm like, hey, why don't I try doing an ombre or something? So I put down the brown and I try to blend it out with the warm gray and it looks really weird. But I just decided to do it the same thing for the other half. And I just like um, planned that out too. And then I realized I don't like it. Uh, but I just, so I just continue with the skin while I'm thinking of what I actually want to do with the hair since I didn't like how this blend was going. Um, but I wasn't sure what to do. So I just like went on with the skin, did all of that. Doing the blush. And just like blending that out and adding some shading. And so now here I do the words, mint chocolate chip. And for some reason it didn't record me coloring the hair, but I did fix it up and I made it lighter at the end. Instead of like light to dark. I used, I did like an alternating order, so for my chocolate chip, I did green, brown, green, and for cookies and cream, I did brown, white, brown. Okay, so now I'm doing the background. For the background, I decided to do like um, the brown and green dots for the mint chocolate chip side and the brown and like gray dots for the cookies and cream side. And I thought that would just look really cool and it would make the piece a bit more exciting. And I thought maybe should I do like the mixed match so like the brown, the gray dots would be on the mint side, mint chocolate chip side and then the mint dots would be on the cookies and cream side. But I decided to just do, go with my first plan. I did make some of the green dots go into the cookies and cream side. And same with like the gray dots. Just so it's like kind of co more cohesive. So yeah, and then I go in with the dark brown. And I felt like this dark brown is really what tied everything together. Since I did use the same exact brown for both of them. So I think it really, really helped it tie tie the piece together okay so here I'm going to do the highlights now so I'm just using my white gel pen, the ten, size 10 and size 8. And I'm basically just using that to like, you know, do the highlights. So I'm doing highlights for the dress near the little dripping chocolate and on the side. 
again for like the top of the dress. I sometimes do them for the hair, but I decided not to do it for here. On the nose and near the eyes. And I just did the same thing for the other character. Now I am adding some highlights to the letters. And just, I don't know, I just felt like that would look cool. So I just added um, like a little white line inside the letters. And I decided to clean up some other, just a little um, couple of little tidbits where marker went outside the lines. So I'm just like cleaning all of that up. That's it for today's video. Here's how the art turned out. Bye!